Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Apple Monitor here, and today I'm going to be talking about the 4.3.2 Untethered Jailbreak for all iOS devices. So, as you know, I think about a couple of days ago, Apple did in fact release the 4.3.2 software update to fix some issues that people were having with the 4.3.1 software update, such as battery life issues and issues with the Verizon iPad 2. So, of course, those issues were fixed, and I'm just going to show you an article here on RedmondPie.com talking about the possible 4.3.2 untethered jailbreak. So as you see here, it says iOS 4.3.2 untethered jailbreak is still possible via Ionix exploit. And basically what this article is saying, that one of the top jailbreakers who was Comex tweeted the other day, by the way, iOS 4.3.2 is as far as I can see still vulnerable to Ionix untethered vulnerability. And this was a few days ago confirmed. So as you can see, confirmed iOS 4.3.2 untethered jailbreak is still possible. So Ionic tweeted the other day that Apple has been nice. I just verified that the untethered vulnerability is not fixed in iOS 4.3.2. My iPad 1 is running an untethered jailbreak. So this means that they just have to repackage the jailbreak to be compatible with iOS 4.3.2 and just launch it right up in Red Snow and we'll have an untethered jailbreak I predict in about one to two weeks to do their basic testing. As you might know right now the tethered jailbreak is already out and I'm not going to make a video on that because I do not support tethered jailbreaks because they're stupid and pointless in my opinion. So once the untethered jailbreak comes out, I will be making a video on that. By the way, for you guys, iPad 2 users, they will probably not work. But I have discovered a way to jailbreak the iPad 2 on 4.3 firmware. Because Ionix iPad 2 exploit was patched in the 4.3.1 firmware. But I don't have an iPad 2 to demonstrate it on. Therefore, I can't really make a video on it yet. So I'm going to try to find a friend who has an iPad 2 so I can make a video about it. But I have indeed found a way to jailbreak the iPad 2. So if you want to see that video, and if you want to see the upcoming 4.3.2 untethered jailbreak, just like this video, subscribe, and ultimately have a nice day.